Hi, I'm James the Light Guy, and today we have a double feature. We're going to be taking a look at RCR's D2S Xenon Bulb and DZG's D2S to aftermarket harness. DZG uses a factory style connector for the bulb. and then has two wires running to an aftermarket connector. The wires are protected by a steel and nylon braided sheath, which is incredibly durable and flexible. We're going to use these in an upcoming build because I like using the factory style D2S bulbs rather than the aftermarket ones with the pigtails attached. Next, let's open up one of RCR's xenon bulbs. And if I can get the focus right, maybe, try manually adjusting. I'll pull it away slightly. There we go. You can see the glasswork on this bulb is very nice. Secured with the standard spot welds and a ceramic cover, uh, protected electrode. It is a D2 bulb, 6000K with normal connectors. Now, I have RCR's bulb in DZG's connector, and we're going to fire up the power supply. We're using a generic 35 watt supply. You can see on initial charge up, we are drawing more than 35 watts. These bulbs are a little power hungry, and we have a slight blue tinge to the bulbs as it uh, starts to warm up, but it's getting more and more pure white. It's already getting hard. I'm not sure if uh, you guys can see it on the screen, but at least for me, uh, I get a bit of a rolling shutter due to the brightness. Looks like we're slowly working our way down to uh, 2.8 amps and we're going to grab the power meter or sorry not power meter the uh, lux meter and see what we can come up with so at six inches away forgive my focus if i can get it no try that again there we go so at six inches away, we are showing almost 1100 lumens bouncing all over the place right now as I'm trying to uh, get a grip, try and hold it steady. We'll call it 1000 even as it peaked at 1100, but I was having trouble maintaining the stability. There we go. It's all over the place because I can't hold on to this thing. But we'll call it a thousand lumens. This is a factory D2S style bulb, and so it does not have any blind spots besides where the electrode covers, but is still incredibly bright. Unlike the Eufania bulbs, these ones do not have a flicker, and I highly recommend getting a pair as they are much less expensive than some of the other name brand bulbs. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, 
Consider sharing with your friends and subscribing for more content. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below for me, and I will see you in the next video.